ready. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back for another day and the final two episodes of this monster anime pun intended. All right. A monster this journey. Um I don't know. I don't think it's I think it's probably I, I don't I don't know when I started watching Monster, but it has definitely been one of those series on the channel that a lot of that was recommended. I didn't think it was going to be this good. Um, but a lot of people recommended it because, you know, because I enjoy a good story. It doesn't have to be, you know, all action all the time. I actually enjoy series, anything that I'm watching for a good story better than just you giving me action. Because a lot of times when it comes down to action, action can be tuned out. I give you guys an example, um, of a show. If you watch it, a TV show like the um the blacklist i like the blacklist for the story like the actions part of it like you know the the shooting and stuff like that is kind of expected at this point in the series i think they're on like season eight now i think the final season is coming out at some point for us to get a conclusion to the entire thing but like there's parts of it is, is the action is just in my opinion so poorly done because it's a tv show so you know budget and all of that some point is just like it, i just tune out i just completely tune out when there's th that when those parts happen right but when it gets back into the story the story is very intriguing um i don't want to spoil anything for, for anybody so i want to talk about the story but it's just an example back for me i enjoy it i don't know if anybody else would tolerate the show for this long but i just want to see how they planning to wrap it up it's just like game of thrones season seven was not the best game of thrones season but you want to see how these series end even though you know what i'm saying even though you've been watching it you'll be like i'm hooked on the show but you still want to see how it ends like people who abandon shows like the walking dead like people abandon the show because a main character dies like it's the dumbest thing ever like you get what i'm trying to say like for me i still want to see how the walking then ends even though the, the the extra episodes that they're doing right now is completely completely you know what i'm saying like it's not the best episodes ever but people drop in series in the middle of series i think it's just so terrible you get what i'm saying like if i could talk about like if i'm in like the second season of a show Right, and it's not the best season ever. I'm still gonna try to watch it if I knew the season one was fine. But if the season one was mediocre and then season two is just horrible, I can totally understand. But if you're like six, seven seasons into a show, you already know who the characters are, you already know who the main characters are, but then the show is not done. But you're gonna drop the show because. They kill a character that you liked? I mean, seriously? Like, I've heard people do that and uh, about The Walking Dead, and I'm like, why would I drop the series because a character that I liked die? Like, if anything, <laughs> if anything, I should applaud that writing, not abandon the show because, oh, it's terrible writing, because it's not terrible writing. That's boldness. In writing, getting rid of, not getting rid of, but killing characters. So for me, when it comes on to Monster, even though I'm sitting here talking, I should be watching the show. It's it, it's like that for me. You know what I'm saying? It's Monster is like that for me. You know what I mean? Where it's it's to the point where it's so brilliantly written. You know what I'm saying? I could I could have never dropped this show, and I love shows i love series i love anime that have a great story behind it i don't mind something if 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 action is the point like my hero academia um you know like um god of high school um dragon ball 
If it's about the action, it's about the action. Demon Slayer, if it's about the action, it's about the action. Straightforward story. Nothing complicated, nothing deep. I'm with it. If that's the precedent that you set from Jump, I'm with it. I can get with it. If it's beautiful animation, I can get with it. I'm going to enjoy it because it's not like I don't enjoy action. I enjoy action done well. That's what I enjoy. I don't like mediocre action. Like if you're going to do action scenes, do action scenes. Mortal Kombat movie was not the best. Still enjoy it because it had some good action scenes. Enjoyed the fatalities. But for the most part, the story was absolute garbage. Most of it didn't make any sense. But because they didn't connect the dots. First, like, I want to say first 10 minutes of the movie was absolutely awesome. I don't know why I'm going on a tangent right now <laughs> talking about the series. But, hey, at least you get something to, to hear me talk about this stuff that I've been watching. I mean, as I said, Mortal Kombat movie, the story was just not there. After, like, the first 10 minutes, I thought they were really going to go into you know, the actual lore of Mortal Kombat, but they didn't. They just kind of shit the bed after, like, um, the first 10 minutes of the movie, right? So, but that's what I'm saying. If you're going to give me action, give me good action. Don't have, don't cut up the action. Give me some good fighting scenes. Give me some one-shot fighting scenes. You get what I'm saying? Give me something where the camera is following actual people who know how to do some martial arts and stuff like that and know how to shoot an action scene. Like, some people just don't know. It's just like, you know, it's to the point of just cheese. It's just really cheesy. But anyways, let's jump into Monster. Final two episodes. We're finally here at the end of the series. I'm going to have a lot to say after this. I might record my initial review of the show right after. But for the most part, I am going to do an in-depth analysis like what I did for Death Note and post it at a later date. So look out for that also. Anyways, let's jump into to episode 73 and 74 of Monster. Let's go. Shinji <laughs> And give it up for these voice actors, man. They killed this series, bro. テーマを訪ねて女の人が来たんだ。女の人。吸血鬼の家に行ったよ。あそこにある双子の絵とそっくりな女の人。双子の絵。ニナ。ニナと呼ばれているのか。あの子は今ニナと呼ばれているのか。
What? Bruh. Really? Shinu. Let's die together. What a situation. It's crazy. Shinu. Yeah. It's getting wild. It's not even that time of day. <laughs> Yo. Did he really kill him though? Who shot him? He's got a sniper somewhere. What? Yo, chill. The landscape of the end. Oh, she remembered something. Man, Yo, what? How? Roberto. What happened to Lungi? You know, I'm really getting tired of Tenma just keeps aiming. Pull the trigger or don't aim at all, bro. For real. That's crazy.
あなたには見える<笑>終わりの風景ダメドクターテンバー撃っちゃダメ Because it's, it's what he wants. Him to do it. So they show. Give it up. So they show. Give it Tenma had to do it, man. I don't even know. Akumata Konomachini Akumagayat. Machishimi no Shinishta. Oh, he's the one that shot him. Why didn't we hear any of that screaming just now? ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
一つの町が殺戮によってほぼ全滅した模様です南ドイツのこの静かな町に一体何が起きたのでしょうかはいですから今現在容疑者として身柄を拘束しているのは1名だけですヘルベルト・クナウプ38歳無職父ちゃんええ犯行を自供しています青年1名に対して発砲父ちゃんは僕を助けようとして撃ったんだそれがどうやらかなり重度のアルコール中毒のようで犯行の理由がですね角がたくさん生えた頭が7つもある怪物が息子に襲いかかっていたとか、だめだわ、だめだわ、だめだわ、だめだわ、だめだわ、だめだわ、だめだわ、だめだわ、だめだわ、だめだわ、だめだわ、だめだわ、だめだわ、だめだわ、だめだわ、だめだわ、だめだわ、だめだめだわ、だめだわ、だめだわ、だめだわ、だドクターギーレ、我々にも分かるようにお話し願いませんか話せば長くなります。いや、すべて話しても理解できないかもしれない。You're damn right! Literally, if <laughs> you still might not understand. 負傷した警察官を一名、保護しました。ようだよ。はあ。命に別状はないと思われますが、意識は朦朧としており、くそ、事件を説明できる警官は一人もいないのか。ここにいるよ。ルンゲイズアイブ。あなたは、ベーカーのルンゲ警部だ。今身分証はないがね。ベーカーに問い合わせてみる。ロベル。死んだかやつがこの事件の実質的な実行犯だ私はとどめを刺そうとしたがその時やつは意識を失った私がやつから離れて海外へ向かいかけると背後からやつの声がした次の瞬間後頭部に打撃を受け私は気を失ったあの時やつはこう言ったまだ見えない終わりの世界がとにかく詳しい話は手当ての後で<笑>泣くなもう大丈夫だ<笑>失礼します身元の確認をエルフト通りのヘニヒだこっちは女王のフランカ<笑>身元を証明するものはああえ何どうしたのさいや。He lost the ticket. あないんだ。あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、私たちこうして生きてるだけで十分だよ。Damn. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, but I'm still going back to look for that ticket, baby. I'm still going back to look for that ticket, baby. Yeah, 20 mil? You must be joking. <laughs> eh, to, Mato, say, don't shop. Ah, eat it. Smiva, say, Mimoto no cacking. You don't have to look too hard. Everybody knows Tenma. It can't come out. Nakani, say, don't shall I look on the same? Ah, no. なんだと ?The hell is that?Yohan.That's y o k 
Do not save Johan again. あなたはひょっとして間違いない。指名手配中のドクターテンマ。あなたドクターテンマですね。is he going to save him again? <laughs> いいか、坊や。お父さんに色々聞かなくちゃならないんだ。父ちゃん、父ちゃんは僕を助けようとして。いいね。ああ、父ちゃん。許してあげたい。私は許した。天馬、あなたは間違っていない。This nigga really gonna save save Johan again? That's crazy, bruh. Right back to the beginning. Yes. I can't believe this. Bruh, let's get to the next episode. Bruh. <laughs> Is he really going to save Johan again? Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> All right. Final episode of Monster. Let's go. ゼウスが各王を捨てられると土地に住む人間の種族は種をまき畑を耕すことを覚えたカールまた発音が違うぞすみません気をつけているのですがたがんなくなった初めてここに来た時にはなんて出来の悪い学生が来たもんだと思
The real monster. Shigoto Hajimeta? Sorry, I got that. The Duna Shigotoni. Interior coordinator. Narodo. Ava is working. Mosoto Namunda Roshina. Interior take them all. Such in a home and the Joto Chingano. Hm? Kitchen no coordinator. Oh. Well, I tell the show. いや、今度うちのキッチンをお願いしようかな。いいわよ。あいや、しかしあんたの見立てたキッチンじゃ高くつきそうだな。ちょっとね。さきは飲んではいないね。え、行ってきも。ゲッグ、ゲッグ。
事件の動機いまだつかめず真犯人とされる謎の青年の正体はニュースター大学医学部ドクター天満を教授として招聘ドクター天満孤児の意思動かずドクター天満国境なき医師団に参加かどんどん記事が小さくなる。人間って都合よくできてるかおおディーターちょっと見ないうちにでかくなったなケッケルおじさんはちょっと見ないうちにますますずる賢そうになったね相変わらず口の減らねえガキだね悪いけどサッカーの練習に行くから付き合ってられないよえおおちょちょっと待てよチェンマは帰ってきたのかよ国境なき医師団だかなんだか知らねえけどかっこつけて金にならねえことしやがって全然つかまれやしねえ<笑>帰っていたらどうすんのちょっと前にやつから引き受けた仕事を経費と労力を考えると報酬が全然足りねえんだよ天馬がおじさんに仕事簡単に人探しとか言いやがってえれえ苦労したんだ警察のマル秘資料を盗むまでしたんだぜ捕まったらどうなるかうん、お,おい天満にこの請求書を渡しとけ払えないならまたモグリの医者やらせるから覚悟しとけってな金ですよこのところをいらっしゃらなかったからいやちょっと外国の方へこれ皆さんで召し上がってくださいまあこれはこれはいい天気たくさんの葉が光合成してる命数えきれない遺伝子メンデルってご存知ええ遺伝の法則の私メンデルと同じ大学に通っていましたブルノ大学チェコ南東部モラビア地方の都市ですねいいところよ今度ぜひ行ってみますありがとう何度も通ってくださってとても楽しい時間を過ごさせてくれていえ今日はとてもいい気分何でもお話しできそうな気がする Who is this? どんな怖い話でも私に聞きたいことがあるんでしょう。Is this their mom? あなたは。スカラビンお母さんですね。Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, why are they not showing her face? Like, she was a girl. I 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 was a 
私はあの男を決して許さない。私が死んでも私の中でどんどん大きくなっていく子供たちが必ずあの男に罰を下す。テオ、テオ、離さないで。That kind of hatred, bro. Like, ハイカーラズの遅刻上州犯だな。約束の時間20分遅れた。すみません。黒根川教授。うん。ないだろう。今日は何のために呼び出されたのか。分かってるだろうね君の卒業論文に関してだ前に来たまえあはい君にいろいろあったのは知っている休学中の遅れを取り戻すのも大変な苦労だったろうでもそれは成績の言い訳にはなりませんしその通りだところで君の論文だがトップだうんこれは私が教えたこれまでの学生の中で最も優れた論文だよく頑張ったな私は君を誇りに思うあ,ありがとうございます君の死亡はあはい弁護士ですうん君によって多くの人が救われることを祈る従ってよろしいはいただし法廷では遅刻は許されないよフロイラインニーナ・フォルトナーはいはいもしもしあリータ卒業どうだったダメでも僕がついてるよあなたのもし今度会った時慰めてもらおうかなもったいぶったって声でわかるよやったんだねおめでとうありがとうこれからがまだまだ大変なんだけどねお祝いだ早く帰っておいでよすぐにってわけにはいかないんだアルバイトあるし友達との予定も結構何言ってるんだよデンマが帰ってくるんだよさっき電話があったんだでもまたすぐ国境なき石段で外国に行っちゃうんだってさいつ
スタの予定なんだけどごめんちょっと行けなくなった天満天満に会える<笑>あこんにちはグッスタご苦労様ですAnd this is Johan. Are Karazu to Nemuritsu get in there? Oh, he's in a coma. Kimi no cars and to Hanashi or Star. 君を愛していた君の本当の名前を聞いた君には名前があったあなただけに聞いてほしいことがあるあの時あの怪物が僕の前に現れた剣だどちらかを残してどちらかを連れていくこれは実験ださあどちらを連れていく離さないで離さないで。母さんは僕を助けようとしたの僕と妹を間違えたのどっちいらなかったのはどっちでは What?Where did he get that info from? Is that something that Nina told him? Or the mom told him? Maybe it's the mom that told him. So, so, so. Iku yo. He's gotta have gotten that information from somewhere. Yes. 
Bruh. Alright. All right. All right. We're at the end. We're at the end of Monster. It was a was a journey to say that much. Um I'm going to say this off off bat because I know I'm going to be doing an in-depth analysis of everything that happened and I'm I'm just I'm just curious to know like why is it that you can have well-written stuff like this and it's just like you're not always going to get this all the time and I totally understand that but there are so many stories that I've watched in the past that you know what I'm saying? Like they ha they have a similar kind of story to tell, but they just can't. It just didn't end it right. You know what I'm saying? Very disappointing the ending. But for Monster, and, and for all the animes that I've been watching, man, I don't know. You guys don't miss. <laughs> you guys have haven't missed yet. You know what I'm saying? Like I haven't had like a series that i was watching on the channel where i was just like this was absolute trash and i just watched it because you guys wanted to see my reaction you know what i'm saying like i've yet to come across a series um where i've given a extremely low score i think i've watched maybe seasons of shows on the channel that i've said is just not up to par you get what i'm saying but for the most part, most of my reviews for series that I finished on the channel has either gotten a 9 out of 10 or better. You know what I'm saying? I've given seasons lower than 9, but entire series, they've all been, I mean, entire series, they've all been straight lit fire, you know, must watch kind of stuff, um, at least for me. So I'm very subjective when it comes on to um what i prefer and what i like to watch I mean, you know it is what it is it has to be subjective right um but even objectively somebody could watch this and really enjoy it for what it is um some people might look at this and be like it's boring you know what i'm saying watching monster because but it's such a compelling story in such a way where you can't really ignore what you're seeing you know what i'm saying you can't really ignore it the story is so compelling just the introduction the title of the series the introduction of the story of what what captivated you in the beginning of it like you want to see you know not necessarily what happens to johan but um but where the story is taking you has you know, is he really a serial killer? He's a serial killer by all marks of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, in every aspect of it, he's a serial killer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, the stuff and the stories that were told about him and how, you know what I'm saying? He was running a big, a big world underground black market organization when he was like 17 or something like that. It was it was nuts. You know what I mean? So just finding out the little, little things about Johan really carried this story. And also, you know, the times that we see Nina on screen and the times that we see Tenma on screen. And it's in some ways, you know, Tenma is not even really the main protagonist. If there is a main protagonist in this story, I would say it is Johan. It's not really Tenma. That's you know my opinion 
on it i don't I, in my opinion the story leading with with with, with johan you know was more intriguing it was more you know what i'm saying we're what we're kind even though he's he wasn't on screen as much as tenma he was the guy you wanted to see on screen because every time he showed up you know what i'm saying it was something big is going on something is happening no doubt about it so when it comes on to this series man i really enjoyed it i don't want to say too much but i'm going to go down a, a, a very small list of things that i enjoyed about this story um if you would just stick with me for a while here because i'm going to try to remember some some things that took place from you know what i'm saying from the shooting of the guy in the, in the garage from from all of those things finding out that ava what you know was there and saw johan's face and him just erasing his past that basically just erasing everything you know and then finding about uh, find out about his his mom you know what i'm saying and the reason why he's the way he is have there's so many things that contributed to how, why he behaves the way he behaves and the stuff that he does and you know what i'm saying when you're talking about his mom kinderheim you know what i'm saying bonaparte like there's so many things even is even nina to some degree is a part of the reason the reason for for, for johan being the way he is and he became basically at the end of the series the biggest victim out of everybody you get what i'm saying and it just you know as i was saying during you know the show and stuff like that when i was watching these final 10 episodes and i was like you know in a lot of ways it's like the series is trying to show you how people become victims of the of circumstances that happen to them and it's like they they kind of want you to blame people for their decisions but at the same but at the same time they want you to sympathize with people for making those decisions so it's it, it, in in some ways i do realize at the end of the series that bonaparte wanted to make up for what he did for you know what i'm saying basically experimenting on children and you know creating you know putting couples together to to create this to make children so they can experiment on it was just it, it's a crazy thing to even think about somebody doing in real life when we actually know that things like the holocaust happen and and all of these little things you know all of these little things that has happened that you could you know what i'm saying i don't know the history of the entire world right but there are instances of you know uh, of you know that are written down in history when you actually think about it these things you know that happen in the series they probably did happen you know what i'm saying um i know there's some things that are fabricated about the story but it just comes off as such a true story they talked about the situation in berlin even you guys in the comment section helped me out to to kind of understand what re, you know why you, you know the understanding why the berlin wall was there and all of that other stuff we've been through a lot with this series man and i have to say congratulations to myself for getting through this and you know watching another great series that i can discuss with you know people that enjoy anime like like i do you know what i mean um and recommend this to other people and and, and stuff like that like you know i've already told a couple of people that i know that love animes uh, a couple of my friends to watch monster they're not really into story driven anime but i told them hey man just watch it i already got them to watch evangelion so you know what i'm saying so i told them check out monster man it's a doozy you know what i mean um the reveals the okie dokes all of that stuff it had in my opinion you know what i'm saying the action that it needed you know what i'm saying and it was very grounded action too you know what i'm saying the gunplay the the roberto the, the 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 you know what i'm saying it's just 
certain things that happen in the series man just really got me pumped up the reveals i was confused about some of the reveals i was like oh this dude is that but no no he's not he's not that guy no you know what i'm saying so it all plays into um if this series was on t was on tv and it was going week by week you still have to remember previous things and there's a lot of stuff that i kind of kept you know not remembering correctly but i still i got through it and you know um, there were certain points that I was like, oh my God, is this, is this what's happening right now? Sometimes I guess right because of how the story is going, you know what I'm saying? It was just absolutely brilliant. And I know I'm just gushing over it right now, but when I do my in-depth analysis and review, I'm not going to be so, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, the score is going to still remain what it is, which is I'm giving this series a 10 out of 10. I believe that monster is is a must watch it is a must watch um it is a masterpiece in my opinion um i think it's a masterpiece of storytelling not necessarily in every aspect of creating something in media you get what i'm saying um i just think it's a masterpiece of storytelling you get what i mean like to grasp an, an audience and and hold on to that audience you know what i'm saying there were times that i really wanted to binge monster but because of you know other things that are going that i had going on on the channel i was never able to do it because i have to watch the other shows too and put them out also but since we took the break and stuff like that because of the foolishness happening with the channel i've gotten the time to be like you know what these last 10 episodes i'm just gonna plan and get them done so we can get monster off the docket of the channel and we can move on to all new shows in the upcoming month or so so yeah man really enjoyed watching these 10 episodes all together and it really tied up everything with a bow there is no doubt in my mind that i understand what the author was trying to do there were so many little things about life itself you know what I'm saying? Of how we think about certain things, how we approach certain things, how we can become victims of our own circumstances and things that has happened in our past and, you know, tackling mental issues. And, 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 you know what I mean? Like, there's a lot that I have to talk about in my final analysis of this. So look out for that coming up very soon. Um, I really did enjoy this series, man. Really really did enjoy it um i know maybe some of the reactions i was a bit quiet but that's because i like to pay attention guys it's not because you know I, i'm not a a guy that gets excited over every little thing that happens like it really has to be something you know what i'm saying for me to act out and i know sometimes you know some people they watch reactions to see those reactions you know what i'm saying if i was supposed to do that and just post the parts where i'm super excited and stuff like that you guys would probably get a five minute video every time <laughs> you know what i mean because i don't say i don't say much because i like to listen especially uh um, not necessarily listen but i like because i'm watching in sub i have to read and i want to read every word i want to understand everything that's going on and i still miss stuff when i do that so it's like it is what it is but anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching the video i appreciate y'all thanks for watching the series with me as always don't forget to leave a like on the video leave a comment and i'll catch up with you guys later man peace